I love you guys who are now taking you through the story of A Level Physics Paper 2. And this video I'm going to go through the part of efficiency of electrical circuits. So this video is, is under the topic of current electricity and is suitable for students in both Senior 5 and Senior 6 offering physics as part of their combination. So before we proceed, let's first look at the course outline for this paper. So physics paper 2 is divided into four parts. The first part is geometrical optics where two questions come from these topics and the student must answer one. The next part is physical optics or what we call waves where two questions come from these topics and the student must answer one. The third part is electrostatics and electricity where three questions come from this and the fourth part is magnetism and AC where three questions come from this. So for these last two parts, a student can choose to answer two from here and one from here to make the five questions. Or one from here and two from here to make these five questions. So any of the two options is okay. So we have already dealt with the calculations for part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. And now we are going to part 6, which is efficiency of a circuit or an electrical circuit. But complete notes are available here. We are interested in the work examples found in this book. But this book contains also notes and trial questions on all these parts. So if you need a copy, you can contact the author on any of these two contacts or WhatsApp using this first one. But a complete set of Physics Paper 2 contains three books. So you need Physics Paper 1, Physics Paper 2, and also a topical question bank. If you are doing principal math, a complete set is also three books. There is Math Paper 1, Math Paper 2, and Topical question bank. If you are doing subsidiary mathematics, it is only one book because there it is only one paper. The rest are for all level. There is all level physics, all level physics, and all level math. So just start our topic of efficiency of a circuit. So here we shall consider a circuit shown in this fig in the figure below. So just the figure with a cell of EMF E, internal resistance small R, driving current capital I through flowing through the load of resistance capital R. So we shall need to draw a circuit having EMF and internal resistance here, having driving current and also having an external load or resistor. So the power generated by the cell, denoted by P cell, will be given by P cell equal to EI. So not when they say power generated, because there are two words, there is power dissipated and power generated. So power generated, we are interested in using the EMF of the cell. Okay, that's why you see here, instead of IV, we are using EI. So power generated, we are interested in using the EMF of a cell. So power developed in the circuit is equal to the power delivered to the load. So those two words are different. Power generated and power delivered to the load. So power delivered to the load or power developed in the circuit is I squared R. So here we bring in the element of the external resistor. This was power generated by the cell. And this is power delivered to the load. So those two words are different. And they have different formulae. And even the answers will be different. So to obtain the efficiency of the circuit, input power is equal to the power generated by the cell whereas output power is equal to power delivered to the load. 
Therefore, efficiency will be power output over power input times 100%. So you already saw that power input is this and power output is this. So substitute, and when I substitute, I'll come up with, so this one will give me this. Because this one I cancels to remain with IR over E. Okay. But IR is equal to PD across the load. PD across the load. Because the load has a resistance R. Therefore, in summary, we shall see that efficiency of a circuit is equal to PD across the load over EMF of the cell multiplied by a hundred percent so this will be the formula for getting efficiency of a circuit so the difference between the input power to the output power to the output is equal to the power wasted as heat in the cell therefore power wasted in the cells got by subtraction so they have seen three terms there is power generated by the cell, then power delivered to the load, and power wasted. So is that so we know that E is equal to V load plus I small r. So when I substitute, I'll come up with that. So power wasted will be equal to this. Because what I, when I bring this one here. You realize that one V load will cancel with this and remain with just I R which is here, but there's also an I which was originally there. So that is when I combine this, I'll come up with I squared small r. So power wasted is the power delivered to the internal resistance of the cell. So power delivered to the internal resistance of the cell is the power wasted. Power delivered to the in to the external resistance is the power is this is this one and power generated is this so those three terms are different and they give different answers so we need to be keen which kind of power does the question require so with that we shall go through these questions question one came from your 2014 paper 2 question 9d and it says a battery of emf 20 volt and internal resistance 4 ohm is connected to a resistor of resistance 10 ohm. Calculate Roman 1 power generated and Roman 2 efficiency of the circuit. So for you to get power generated, remember power generated is EI. Therefore, you need to get we know the in, we know the EMF, but we don't know the current so shall first use this formula to get the current so here i is the only unknown when i make it the subject i'll come up with this so now that i know the current i can get the power generated and to be that then remember to the one the efficiency of the circuit so the good thing i know the emf but i don't know yet the pd across this resistor but since I have got the current and I know the external resistor, I can easily get that PD. So the efficiency is equal to PD across the load over EMF for the cell. Therefore, PD will be IR over E. So substitute for I, substitute for R, and substitute for E to give you this as the efficiency they wanted. Then question two. Came from UNEB 2002 paper 2 question 8D. It says a battery of AMF this and internal resistance this is connected to a resistor of resistance this. Calculate Roman 1, power generated Roman 2, efficiency. So the same procedure as we have done question 1. So that was just an illustration, but what, it, what we need is this. Then substitute, make I the subject to give you the current. 
Then power generated will be EI substitute and get the value of power. Then the efficiency will be PD across this load over EMF of the cell. So PD is IR, EMF is E. Substitute and get the answer they wanted. So the same procedure as question one. Then question three came from your name 1996 over to question 8D and it says, a battery of EMF 12 volt and internal resistance this is connected across a 6 ohm load. Calculate Roman 1 the rate of energy conversion in the battery. Roman 2 the rate of dissipation of electrical energy in the resistor. And Roman 3 comment on the difference in Roman 1 and Roman 2. And Roman 4 sketch a graph showing the variation of power output with the load. So just start with the Roman 1, rate of energy conversion in the battery. In the battery. So we can choose to sketch. So we know that E is equal to I in brackets R plus small r. Substitute and make I the subject. Okay, then for the rate of energy conversion in the battery will be given by P battery is equal to EI, then substitute for E, substitute for I to give you this. So rate of energy conversion is the same as power generated. Then Roman 2. the rate of dissipation of electrical energy in the resistor. So power dissipated or power delivered to the load, they mean the same thing. So rate of dissipation of energy in the resistor will be given by I squared R. So substitute and get the power they wanted. Then Roman 3, comment on the difference in Roman 1 and Roman 2. So they want to comment on these two differences between power generated and power delivered to the load. So you come that the power generated is bigger than the power dissipated in the resistor. Why? It is because some heat is lost in connecting in the connecting wires due to flow of charge. Then Roman 4 it says that sketch a graph showing the variation of power output with the load. So in the notes you will have covered something called maximum power and when it occurs in a circuit but here yeah, I'm not interested in the notes, we're interested in the calculation. So we shall sketch. But if you need to know where the, this sketch comes from, you need to buy the book and go through the, those notes. So maximum power occurs when the occurs when R is equal to small r. It occurs when the external resistor, the value of the external resistor is equal to the value of the internal resistor. That's why you see here load resistance and here it has a value small r and when it has a value small r it is at the, the peak. So basically that is the shape but you can read more in the book I told you to buy. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the next video will be on applying catch of slows in electrical circuits. So, if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video has been uploaded. And also, if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please 
share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so you can all benefit us. Get family.